Here I'm going to tie a popsicle on a Tiemco 7999 in size 2. Watch yourself as these hooks are amazingly sharp. Get the hook secured in the vise and if you have the option, set it so it's properly aligned for rotary operation. The mylar body certainly can be done without it, but the rotary option as you'll see makes it much easier. Because these hooks are so sharp and because of the way this fly is tied, I highly recommend covering the point with something like a pencil eraser before you begin tying, or I guarantee you will stab yourself. For tying thread, I'm going to use UTC 70 denier in the color red. Start the thread on the hook shank just behind the return and then take a few wraps up and over the return to close it off. Cut a 6 to 8 inch piece of medium sized silver mylar tinsel from the spool. Tie the tinsel in just behind the return and if you have a rotary vise take a couple of half hitches to secure the thread and then place it in the bobbin cradle. Begin rotating your vise to spiral the tinsel down the shank so the wraps abut. Halfway between the hook point and the barb, turn around and begin wrapping back toward the eye with slightly overlapping turns. When you reach the hook return, tie the mylar off securely and snip it close. Use a few more wraps to cover up the end. Select a single fluorescent orange marabou plume. Marabou bloods will also work. Snip about the top third of the plume off and pull a few fibers from either side of the stem. Definitely save the rest of the plume for bugger tails and the like. Then, what I like to do is pull the fibers back to expose the tip and then snip the tip off. This leaves pulled back fibers and the stem in your fingertips. Take wraps around both to secure the plume segment to the hook. With hackle pliers, get a hold of the butt end of the marabou and pull straight up. Rub the back edge of your scissors against the stem to fold the fibers rearward. This will get them pointed roughly in the right direction. To really control the marabou, I like to barely wet my fingertips on a damp paper towel and then stroke the fibers back. Then begin taking wraps around the hook shank, pulling the fibers back as you go. Use a couple of wraps to secure the stem to the shank and then snip the stem off close. Use a few nice tight wraps to finish securing the marabou to the hook. If you want a little flash in your fly, snip two or three strands of flashaboo from the hank and fold it around the barrel of your bobbin and then bring it up and secure it to the top of the hook. Snip the flashaboo to about the same length as the marabou fibers. Now working your way up the hook toward the eye, repeat the marabou wrapping process, first with red marabou and then with purple to finish. Whip finish to form a small smooth head and then snip your tying thread free. Apply head cement to the wraps all the way around.
stroke the fibers back to free any that have been trapped. Remove the point protector and the popsicle is complete. For as good looking as this fly is in the vise, it's in the water where it really shines. There's nothing quite like the sultry, slinky motion of marabou.